Hey, good morning, everyone. Thank you for being with us. It's, uh, my name is Greg Harris, and I'm uh, privileged to be the president and CEO of this great museum. And you've got to love a place where we can be dedicating the Vans Warped Tour exhibit right next to Elvis, right, you know, <laughs> along with all the other greats. When you came in here, you walked by, you know, blues, gospel, country, R&B, all of that makes rock and roll. And then rock and roll goes a lot of other places. For the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, this exhibit's particularly exciting because we've had a wonderful relationship with Kevin Lyman and the whole Vans tour uh, from the very beginning. Remarkably, this is the 25th year of the tour, and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is almost 25 years old as well. The tour has had 1,700 acts and artists have played on their tour, and about 12 million spectators have enjoyed it and bonded and connected and really changed their lives. At the museum, we've welcomed 12 million visitors since we first opened our doors. So uh, it's kind of a special moment here to think that 24 million people were impacted by the work of this amazing team and the work of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Let's hear it. And, um, you know, so the process today for this dedication, it's being captured. It will stream live to the world. We have media here right now. We're going to have Kevin Lyman share with us uh, the Vans tour itself, uh, tell us more about the Warp tour, rather. Then we're going to bring up some members of Simple Plan, and we have Meg from Meg and Dia with us to formally cut the ribbon on this exhibit, and then you can all see this for the first time. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming Kevin Lyman, founder of the Warp tour. Um, Warp Tour was about community, and I was just lucky enough to be able to guide the community in a way. You know, I listened to the fans, I listened to anyone who came to my office, I listened to artists. I think uh, Megan Dia came in with, came in and played some music at one point early on in her career for me. Um, I want to thank the Rock Hall, you know, for recognizing this. Uh, we were we were a community that was never really recognized. Our bands weren't played on radio. We couldn't get on big tours, so we had to create our own. We went to cities that no one else to. We went to Boise. We went to Bozeman, Montana, and scared the people to death the first time the punk rock band showed up there. But eventually we were embraced because we, the philosophy of music, education, and philanthropy was the Warp Tour's motto. Uh, it wasn't easy at times, we, but we learned from our mistakes, as in life you have to, and anyone who goes out and does anything is going to make a mistake. But you know what? This is the culmination of it. I'm not going anywhere. I've learned I'm going to be doing more things in life as you can. And someone will take the reins and take bands across the country and do wonderful things. But today, enjoy today. That's what we have to do in life and change tomorrow. There's things we have to work towards change. We have to work towards what we believe in. And sometimes what we believe in is hard. And I believed in the Vans Warp Tour. And I went out there and once I realized that I had to rise up and tout what I believed in, we made an impact, and it was because of all of you and many of you and the 12 million people who showed up out there. And they asked me many times what your legacy is going to be. And my legacy now is when I walk backstage at music festivals and I see it being run by people that were hauling carts across hot parking lots, working in small 10 by 10 booths, and then dancing at a barbecue four hours later. Working 24 shows in a row last summer out of 25 days and not complaining. That's what it's about, getting out there and working hard. And people go, well, you know, what about, what made the Warp Tour different? I go, I was on the road with 800 people every summer that gave a crap. They just gave a crap about whatever their job was. They just did it and worked really hard. So with that, I don't want to uh, take, I could talk about this tour forever. And maybe someday I will. Maybe I'll put it all down on the book. But um, I really want to thank everyone that came out today and uh, enjoy the day. And there's some wonderful things up there in there. Take time. Look at it, even though it's just a capsule of so many stories. We all built our own stories out there, and they're all different, but this kind of tells a great story. So I want to thank Amanda. Um, she's right there, and I don't think she gets, I don't think a curator of an exhibit actually gets enough credit. Uh, and we know she was bombarded with a lot of things to figure out how to tell this story. So I really want to thank Amanda. I want to thank Steve Dobo. 
um, who's been a friend of mine for a long time and uh, really been a big part of this. I want to thank my family, my wife, Fran. Uh, my two daughters couldn't be here because we believe education is so important. One of them has finals in school and one of them has to work. So uh, <laughs> work in school, education, my motto. So with that, let's uh, bring up, I'd like to, can we bring up Steve real quick from Vans who's been, and this is the reason Early on, I had many options after that second year when Vans got on board to go with other people, and I wouldn't because of this man, this man, Steve Van Doren. Oh, thank you very much, Kevin. Um, 24 years ago, we joined with Kevin. I wanted to see skateboarding around the country. He introduced us to music, and it's been a, a great two and a half decades just being able to learn so much from him and being able to go out and spend, you know, kind of spread out the van spirit and just see all these young people that could come out and enjoy bands like you guys that uh, made their lives. And I get many, many stories too, but I'd like to pass it back to Kevin. But thank you very much. Thank you, Journeys, for joining us too. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, um, you know, I think the lesson here is to get involved. Uh, don't stand on the sidelines. Get involved, whether it's picking up an instrument, getting involved with charity, getting involved in your community, getting involved with your friends. And um, when you see this exhibit, you're going to see these bands are all in. The, uh, the tour is all in. And when you see them on stage tonight, you'll feel the same. The mission at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is really simple, to engage, teach, and inspire through the power of rock and roll. And tonight, we'll experience the power of rock and roll. And I think we're all going to learn a little bit in this exhibit. So thank you all for being here. Give us a second with the shooters. Give them room to get a photo. We're going to take a quick shot of cutting the ribbon. And then you can all experience this, this fantastic exhibit curated by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's team. Thank you all. Let's get up there and cut it, folks. One, two, three. Yay! 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 Yay!